The field of artificial intelligence research appears to be advancing at an exponential rate, and thousands of researchers work tirelessly every day to make these enormous strides feasible. But are these researchers optimistic about AI? What are their predictions regarding the future? And what controversies surround them at their workplace? Let's find out. In this video, we are going to get an insight about the masterminds behind the AI revolution and their perspective and prediction about it. Let's begin with a luminary in deep learning and computer vision, Andre Karpathy. He has made significant contributions to both academia and industry. Born in Slovakia in 1986, he pursued studies in computer science at the University of Toronto and earned a PhD in computer science from Stanford University, focusing on deep learning and machine learning. In academia, Carpathy contributed to convolutional neural networks and made complex AI concepts accessible through his blog and teaching, particularly excelling in image captioning that bridged computer vision and natural language processing. Transitioning to the tech industry, he joined OpenAI and later led the autopilot vision team at Tesla, focusing on AI algorithms for autonomous driving. After a sabbatical, he returned to OpenAI in 2023 showcasing his expertise and leadership in the field of AI. The next prominent figure in AI is Jeffrey Hinton. He had studied experimental psychology at Cambridge University and pursued a PhD in AI at the University of Edinburgh in 1972. His work on neural networks during the challenging AI winter led to the esteemed 2018 Turing Award. In 2012, he and his students won the ImageNet competition, leading to the founding of DNN Research, eventually acquired by Google Brain in 2013. Hinton's contributions extend to language comprehension, picture recognition, and self-driving automobiles. Despite concerns about superhuman AI dangers, his legacy is undeniable, influencing the field of artificial intelligence. The other AI researcher, Joshua Bengio, is a globally recognized AI expert, received the 2018 AM Turing Award alongside Jeffrey Hinton and Jan LeCun. Currently a full professor at the Université de Montréal, Bengio is the founder and scientific director of Mila Quebec AI Institute. His leadership includes co-directing the CIFAR Learning in Machines and Brains program and serving as the scientific director at Ivado. Bengio's impact is evident through numerous accolades, including the largest number of new citations for a computer scientist in 2018 and the esteemed Killam Prize in 2019. His commitment to responsible AI development is reflected in his role in the Montreal Declaration. Jan Lacoon is one of the three musketeers alongside Hinton and Bengio. He has been a driving force in AI since his college days. His advocacy for neural networks faced resistance, but led to significant advancements, particularly in convolutional neural networks. Credited for developing a CNN to identify handwritten characters in 1994, Lacoon continued to pioneer CNN's use in recognizing various objects throughout the 1990s and 2000s, leaving a lasting impact on AI. Balancing his contributions to academia and private enterprise, Le Kun has been a professor at New York University since 2003. Notably, he founded the NYU Center for Data Science in 2012. In 2013, Facebook recruited him to lead its AI research division, where he played a key role in significant AI innovations, including the development of the transformer neural network architecture for object identification. Creating one company is challenging enough, but not for British-born Chinese-American computer scientist Andrew Yantak Eng, born in 1976, stands as a leading expert in artificial intelligence and machine learning. His journey into machine learning began during his undergraduate years, driving his belief that free education should be accessible to everyone. Eng pioneered massive open online courses while teaching at Stanford University, leading to the establishment of Coursera, a global learning platform, and Deep Learning AI, offering online courses to millions worldwide. As a founding member of Google Brain, Eng played a crucial role in pushing the limits of AI. 
His contributions included developing a neural network with 16,000 computer processors that utilize deep learning algorithms to recognize cats in YouTube videos. In 2014, Eng became the chief scientist at Baidu, overseeing AI research in the Chinese technology company. In 2017, Eng founded the AI Fund, an investment fund supporting AI startups addressing common challenges. Notable ventures include Zest AI for optimizing credit underwriting and Wobot, a charming robot friend aiding mental health. Additionally, he established Landing AI, a company offering transformation programs and solutions to empower businesses in implementing AI for real-world value. Eng's commitment extends to academia, where he serves as an adjunct professor at Stanford University, continuing to offer online courses accessible to all. A visionary AI researcher, Ilya Sutskever, faced a challenging path to success. As a youngster, he approached Jeffrey Hinton for a job, eventually becoming a key contributor to deep learning and large language models. Acknowledged by Hinton, Sutskever played a crucial role in creating ChatGPT. He shifted his focus to co-lead OpenAI's Super Alignment Project, aiming to regulate AI systems smarter than humans, reflecting his concern for the future of AI. His journey exemplifies resilience and innovation in the dynamic field of artificial intelligence. A notable figure in machine learning, Ian Goodfellow, earned recognition in the AI Hall of Fame for groundbreaking discoveries. Leading a Google research team, Goodfellow designed a convolutional neural network to automatically transcribe addresses from images, showcasing human-like accuracy. His research on adversarial attacks highlighted vulnerabilities in AI systems, emphasizing the importance of distinguishing between genuine and false information. Goodfellow's expertise led to his appointment by Apple in 2019 to head its machine learning operation, indicating his potential to shape the future of AI in the coming decades a legendary figure in the tech world and a software engineer at Google, Jeff Dean, has played a pivotal role in the development of several behind-the-scenes products that have contributed to Google's dominance on the internet. Dean attended the University of Minnesota, where he pursued computer science and economics. In the late 1990s, after completing a PhD in computer science at the University of Washington, he joined Google in 1999, initially tasked with creating an ad system. Dean's contributions include the creation of significant systems such as MapReduce, Bigtable, and Spanner, crucial for keeping Google ahead of its competitors. Currently working in Google Systems and Infrastructure Group, Dean appreciates the broad range of problems they address and the collaboration with fantastic colleagues. Despite Google's global stature, he emphasizes the importance of collaboration and idea sharing fostering a nimble and entrepreneurial spirit within the company. Moving forward, Demis Hassabis is a renowned figure in the field of artificial intelligence and the co-founder and CEO of DeepMind, an AI company with a focus on neuroscience-inspired technologies. Google acquired DeepMind in January 2014, marking Google's largest European acquisition at that time. Currently serving as the Vice President of Engineering at Google DeepMind, Hassabis leads Google's general AI efforts, overseeing the development of AlphaGo, the groundbreaking program that achieved the first ever victory against a professional player in the ancient game of Go. Hassabis's journey in technology started early as a child chess prodigy who completed his A-levels two years ahead of schedule. At the age of 17, he coded the highly successful simulation game, Theme Park. Following his graduation from Cambridge University with a double first in computer science, he founded Elixir Studios, a pioneering video games company that produced award-winning games for global publishers. After a decade of leading successful technology startups, Hassabas returned to academia to pursue a PhD in cognitive neuroscience at UCL. He subsequently undertook postdoctoral research at MIT and Harvard. His research on the connection between memory and imagination was recognized as one of the top 10 scientific breakthroughs of 2007 by the journal Science. However, these top AI researchers have diverse views on the future of AI. 
While they are optimistic about the potential of AI to enhance human lives, drive innovation, and create a more connected and intelligent world, they also have concerns and reservations regarding various aspects of AI, such as its impact on society, ethics, and the relationship between open source and closed source models. Jeffrey Hinton has raised concerns about the potential dangers associated with AI. Hinton, who played a crucial role in the creation of technology underpinning popular chatbots like ChatGPT, recently resigned from Google, where he had worked for over a decade to freely voice his apprehensions about AI risks. Hinton highlighted the accelerating race among tech companies, particularly Google and Microsoft, to deploy generative AI systems without sufficient consideration for potential hazards. Earlier last year, when Meta decided to release its AI technology as open source software, it faced significant criticism from various quarters, with notable opposition from entities such as Google and OpenAI. Some critics went so far as to liken it to making a grenade available to everyone in a grocery store. Upon being asked, are these concerns justified? Jan Lieken said, Open source generative models have been accessible for several years now, and it's essential to note that we haven't witnessed widespread misuse for the alarming purposes people fear, such as the extensive generation of disinformation, cyber attacks, or the creation of lethal pathogens. To me, these scenarios seem more like plots from a James Bond movie, dramatic and exaggerated. There are individuals who tend to be overly paranoid and envision such extreme possibilities. Ultimately, the key question revolves around whether society as a whole can be entrusted to utilize technology in a predominantly positive manner, even if there exist some instances of malevolent use. Historical examples, such as the printing press or the two-way internet, also presented opportunities for disseminating misinformation and posed potential risks. Similarly, AI systems, in theory, could be misused. However, when we weigh the immense advantages and benefits they bring to society, one might argue that living with these risks is a reasonable compromise. For those who perceive the risks as existential threats, the trade-off is a non-negotiable stance. However, making such a leap requires a substantial conviction. As of now, it's crucial to emphasize that there is no existential risk associated with current AI systems. In the midst of achieving notable success, OpenAI faced internal upheaval as Ilya Sutskever and fellow board members took the controversial step of terminating CEO Sam Altman on November 17th. The fallout from this decision was significant, with numerous employees, including Sutskever himself, contemplating a shift to Microsoft alongside Altman. Sutskever, expressing remorse for his actions, was later ousted from the board when Altman was reinstated five days after the initial decision. The talk lit a spark when Sutskever took it to X, formerly Twitter, to express his views, stating, I deeply regret my participation in the board's actions. I never intended to harm OpenAI. I love everything we've built together, and I will do everything I can to reunite the company where he was judged by the critics moreover. Elon Musk added to the thread stating, why did you take such a drastic action? If OpenAI is doing something potentially dangerous to humanity, the world needs to know. However, throughout these events, Sutskever exhibited a consistent pattern of making daring statements concerning artificial intelligence. In 2022, he boldly suggested that AI might possess a degree of consciousness, evoking a range of emotions from awe to fear and amusement. Publicly, Sutskever has expressed his belief that artificial general intelligence and even superintelligence, surpassing the collective intellect of humanity, could be achieved within the coming years or decades. The level of confidence in his assertions has left AI researcher Andrew Eng surprised, especially considering their working relationship during Sutskever's postdoctoral tenure at Stanford University in California in 2012. Andrew Eng adds that despite the surprise, Sutskever possesses an admirable trait, the ability to choose a direction and pursue it unwaveringly, irrespective of whether it aligns with popular consensus or not. This persistence in following his convictions characterizes Sutskever's approach to advancing AI. 
illustrating his commitment to his chosen path, even when met with disagreement from others. As companies in the deep tech space are aiming to disrupt and disrupt quickly, they often require extremely specialized skill sets from their employees. As a result, they found that the most cost-effective way of getting the talent they want is by hiring PhDs. PhDs with the right skills can be hired between $40,000 and $80,000, sometimes even more. This kind of investment is actually quite common in the deep tech space, which is why there's been such an increase in demand for PhDs. And not just that PhD holders are often the founders of rising AI startups because of their expertise in AI research and development. AI is a complex and rapidly evolving field that requires a deep understanding of the underlying technologies and their applications. PhD holders have the necessary skills and knowledge to develop innovative AI solutions that can disrupt industries and create new business opportunities. They are also well equipped to navigate the challenges and risks associated with AI, such as the ethical and societal implications of AI development. Moreover, AI research is crucial for the success of startups as it helps them innovate and stay competitive in the market. Many rising AI startups have founders who are PhDs, bringing their expertise in AI research and development to bear on the challenges faced by startups, helping them develop innovative solutions and products that can disrupt industries. One of the examples of these startups is Perplexity.ai. It is a search engine that provides answers to questions in a conversational way and hints at what the future of search might look like. Aravind Srinivas and Dennis Yaritz are co-founders and CEO and CTO of Perplexity, respectively. The former was a research scientist at OpenAI and completed his PhD in computer science at University of California, Berkeley, while the latter has a background in machine learning, having worked as a research scientist at Facebook AI Research and a machine learning engineer at Quora. If you want to learn more about AI technology, give this video a like and please subscribe this channel.